Well, one of the Israeli captives who's been released by the armed wing of Hamas on Monday evening has been telling her story. Hochevid Lifshitz is one of two elderly women released for what Hamas says were humanitarian reasons. Their husbands, though, remain behind, detained in Gaza. Their release followed mediation efforts from Qatar and Egypt. Well, let's speak to Alan Fisher. He joins us now from Occupied East Jerusalem. Alan, one of those captives, as, we, as we've been saying, has been speaking out about the trauma of her capture and also what it was like in, in detention. How is all that being received? Jakob Lifchitz gave a fairly graphic description of her more than two weeks uh, after being captured by Hamas. It was a Saturday morning, the 7th of October. She was near her home, very close to the Gaza border, when she suddenly saw men coming across through a hole in the fence, a fence that she essentially said wasn't worth the millions of dollars that had been spent on it. Suddenly, she was bundled onto the back of a motorbike and was heading to Gaza. And very graphically, she explained her journey there. I went through hell, something I didn't think human beings would do to one another. I have never gone through anything like it in my life. They arrived at the kibbutz and kidnapped us, taking us to surrounding fields. The young men beat me and hurt me, and they took my watch and jewelry. They were riding motorbikes and took us to the entrance of a tunnel. When they arrived, they told us that they believed in the Quran and wouldn't do anything bad to us. We walked through the tunnels and reached a large hall where about 20 people were gathered. Then they separated us and took one group to another room. There was a doctor with us, another doctor who came every three days, and a nurse who examined us and gave us the same medicines that we get at home. We were accompanied by a young man on a bike whose hands and legs were injured and who deserved mercy. They provided us with everything we needed and were afraid of diseases spreading. They were also very friendly and shared their food with us. Alan, we understand that Netanyahu today has also met with the French president, Emmanuel Macron. How is that visit being seen? The latest in the world leaders to make their way to show their support for Israel. He met with the Israeli president and then one-on-one -on -one with Benjamin Netanyahu and then an extended meeting with both sides bringing in their advisors. What was interesting is that Macron, President Macron said that the alliance that was put together to fight uh, ISIL could be reassembled and brought on to fight Hamas. That mm. might find some opposition in the international coalition. There's certainly a huge reluctance among the Americans to bring anything close to boots on the ground here in, uh, in either Gaza or elsewhere nearby. It's something that Joe Biden has been incredibly clear about. But President Macron will be one of only two Western leaders to head to Ramallah to meet with Mahmoud Abbas, the president of the Palestinian Authority. Mark Rutte, the Dutch prime minister, was there yesterday. Uh, I mean, and Emmanuel Macron said he would only come if there was something that he could do, if travel was useful. Well, he's now got to convince Mahmoud Abbas that the plan that he is proposing would be useful to the Palestinian people and useful to Israel. A very tough task at any time. Alan Fisher there with the latest for us from Occupied East Jerusalem. Thank you, Alan.